Bye. Hey everyone, this is another video about the modded joystick I've done. This one, as you can see, uh, has a Raspberry Pi on it. It's uh, Ori Tekken 6 wireless uh, joystick from Ori. And uh, I made some modifications, so let's see how it was done. So first you have to remove the six screws. Here in North America it was uh, three rings. Then you have to uh, disorder the switches, all of them including the select and the start. Then you can unplug everything. Oh yeah, we don't need the battery holder for now, so I can remove it. Remove everything. Up, remove that. And remove that. Remove the bolt up. So you can remove everything else. You can remove the bottom. And remove the artwork. Yep. There you go. And screw everything and get the metal plate. So at the end, we only keep the battery holder with the cache, the metal plate, and uh, the frame, of course, and we keep the home button. So here are the part, Sunwa buttons, we may change the color later, a GLF with the micro switch and the original quad gate restrictor. Also, um, if you check uh, how the frame is done, you can see like we got some support for the old uh, block uh, for the joystick, and the old joystick, but if you try to put uh, the GLF one, you can feel like um, the screw support kind of fits, but the, the frame around yeah, is in the way, so uh, I have either uh, have to make some modification, but I think I will cut some plastic here and here. Also, the sun war is not cutting, it's that are too big, and we got some uh, uh, metal uh, things to uh, get rid of. So now everything has been clean. Uh, I will show you there's another issue with the Ori is the length of the shaft. It's uh, really, really uh, short uh, if you compare to the original Sanwa. So, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to swap uh, the shaft and keep everything else to uh, uh, keep the uh, original uh, Sanwa uh, support so I can uh, replace uh, the micro switch or the uh, restrictor if there's uh, any problem or uh, if I want to change for uh, an octo gauge restrictor and hopefully I won't have to do uh, much modification. So I was supposed to show you uh, how to make the modification to put the uh, uh, Sanwa support and uh, how to uh, make it fit. Uh, so as you can see uh, I uh, cut uh, the plastic here with the clippers and Dremel and make it flat as possible to uh, well, avoid any uh, gap between the new support and uh, the frame. Uh, you have also uh, to uh, increase the uh, hole here, which uh, originally is an hexagon for um, the bolts uh, which are used for uh, uh, fixing the original plate. Unfortunately, now it's totally stuck and I cannot pull it at all. So sure, right now it won't move, but uh, it doesn't mean that like, one day it will uh, fall off. Let's say uh, it's, well, as designed. Anyway, this is how it looks uh, with the uh, old uh, original Hori uh, shaft. So now I can put the uh, Sanwa micro switch, and now I can use the uh, Sanwa restrictor, like this uh, four gate restrictor. As you can see, uh, I uh, drilled some hole here and uh, all around the, the restrictor. It's uh, matching uh, the original uh, Ori support, so I can reuse uh, the screws, the original screws, and uh, so with the, the screws uh, I can uh, fix uh, on one time uh, the restrictor, the micro switch, uh, and uh, the support, so it won't move at all.
So yeah, now I have uh, the shaft uh, at the right size, uh, the support is fixed, it works well, so let's uh, move to uh, the next part. So I finished to uh, do the plastic work. I've tried uh, to make a grid here, uh, but uh, well, as you can see, it's not really my best job. Uh, my uh, grid moved uh, while I was uh, drilling, so yeah, I got a lot of uh, uh, point measure line. Anyway, I uh, kept the battery holder. I will uh, show you why in a few seconds. I've also cut the plastic for the four USB and the network uh, of the Raspberry Pi. I cut uh, for everything else uh, on my uh, custom PCB. So I will show you now how the Raspberry Pi is fixed inside. I use a crystal clear uh, acrylic rod and cut some uh, pad uh, to use as a support and then uh, put a lot of um, epoxy to fix everything. So the Raspberry Pi goes there and when you open up the uh, battery holder you have access to the SD card. So when you close the frame, as you can see, it's uh, matching pretty well. So yeah, I still have the uh, power button uh, to wire up and uh, the power light will be uh, uh, wired directly uh, on, the, on the GPU of the Raspberry Pi. So now uh, I will uh, put back the metal frame, uh, the uh, artwork, um, the button and start uh, to wire up everything. So let's do this. As I said, I grind the holes uh, to uh, uh, make them at the same diameter uh, of the sun was, and now uh, uh, they are fitting perfectly. There you go. So as you can see, we change uh, the color uh, of the buttons. Um, I won't use the original metal plate, and uh, I cannot use uh, uh, the quick connect uh, like uh, in uh, the Mad Cat. So I will um, uh, weld everything and uh, link everything to uh, the GPU. Nothing much to say about uh, the uh, wiring, I just followed uh, the indication of uh, recall box. And for R2 and L2, I've just wired them uh, on uh, uh, other GPU used by Player 2 since, well, I have only one joystick uh, wired uh, on the GPU. Alright, all the electronic uh, has been done, so uh, there you can see uh, the GPU uh, with all the buttons connected. Uh, you can see uh, the USB, uh, audio video and uh, HDMI uh, uh, cable. All of them are leading to my um, custom PCB, as you can see. I had to make a last minute modification on the TARRS uh, connector because uh, the schematic I used as reference uh, was not the, the same uh, at the uh, Raspberry Pi pinout. And this is the wire uh, to the power button. So uh, everything should be okay. Let's power on to see if RetroPi is booting. Ooh, seems nice. So let's uh, close everything. I will uh, swap to uh, recall box and add some uh, game uh, on the emulators. Mm -hmm.